Yeah. yeah, put the bike on the stand to take the chain off and to take the wheels out. Just looking for the split link at the moment. There it is. Flick the split link off. Quite easy with a pair of pliers. Just knock it through. Slip the split link out. Take the chain off. Ready to take the wheel out. Also need to take the gear lever off so I can get take the uh, timing cover off. Make sure that's all no, just to make sure that's dry inside. You do find you get water gets blown into the timing cover. And even the carburetor as well. Undo the timing cover. Use the Allen screws or Phillips screws. Allen screws on the little TY-18. I usually like to blow uh, the air gun into the timing, into the magneto to make sure all the water's been, there's no water in there. Drain out the carburetors, there's usually a little drain uh, plug or screw on them. You just slip that out. Flush a bit of petrol through there, being careful not to let too much through. If there's any water inside the carburetor that will wash it out. And a bit of uh, easy clean to just dilute the petrol that's come out. Put the screw back in. Undo the rear brake. So you can take the back wheel out. Slip the uh, spring off in the box. Undo the torque arm nut to uh, uh, taking the wheel out again. A fiddly little job needs to be done. Undo the rear spindle, little tap of a hammer it be easier to do. A rubber hammer, not a steel hammer. Mallet. Tap the spindle out, but this one seems to be a bit tight to come out for some reason. They usually just pull out. There she comes. Difficult. Yeah, I don't quite know why that's so difficult to get out. They normally just slide out. Just brush. I keep a, a separate brush to just to brush the shoes off, and then rub them over a bit of emery paper just to clean them all up nicely. Sometimes it rocks on the in the vice, but it's not a problem. Just blow the dust off, obviously blowing the dust away from you and not towards you. Same again. Just clean up the hub with a bit of uh, emery paper. 
obviously a move paper with the shoes as well. It's getting back nice and shiny. You will find when you blow water over the bike, water does get into the hubs. Just blow the dust out again. Nice and clean. Ready to go back in. Put the chain back on. Line it all up. Pop the split link back in. Usually a little bit fiddly. Might need a pair of small pinch those flies just to push it in, pinch it together. And see it, put the link on, half of the link. The split pin, making sure that's facing upwards and not downwards so it doesn't get flicked off when you're riding along. Perfect. Slip the timing cover on. Slip the gear lever back on. Tighten it all up so it doesn't fall off. Job done.